Hi and welcome to another episode. So we've got the Spectrum next, or the next E all sorted out. We've got the ST fully loaded. We couldn't do much more to it right now, if anything, if I could think about it. But what I want to show off is this Trust 305KS wireless optical desk set. Yes, it's second hand. Yes, I bought it two years ago. <laughs> the Obviously waiting for this beauty. What I want to show though is that the back of the Spectrum next allows for a PS2 keyboard and mouse. There's only one port, so you might wonder why or how you can get two in there. So let's open this up. Now I have already tested this out, that's why you can see flashing LEDs and things. So let's start off with the mouse. So just a nice wireless mouse. And then we have the adapter that allows for wirelessness and the main adapter though, this is this fancy thing. Lots of people have bought these cream looking ones with the purple and green plugs dangling off at the end, which is fine, they work, but I paid a little bit extra just so I can get a Belkin one, and not because it's Belkin, but because it's black. It helps match it up a little bit with the Spectrum Next. When it's just a couple of quid difference, or a, diff a couple of pounds difference, but to my posh voice, um, that's how good that one will be. And then let's show the keyboard. Nice wireless keyboard. Nothing too fancy. The, the buttons across the top there are obviously useless because you would need drivers for that. There's no LEDs for scroll lock and caps lock and blah, blah, blah. But there is an LED to let you know that you're running out of batteries. The keyboard runs on two AA batteries and so does the mouse. But the mouse has an interesting thing. Let me just rattle around a bit more. It has this charging cable. You can plug it in to this at the side here and that'll go into the front of the mouse. So that would mean you have to make sure you put rechargeable AA batteries in there. Don't put in just normal uh, batteries if you're going to do that. So be very aware if you're going to do that because you could end up with losing everything. And then I'll just show, just for the sake of it, Russell, Russell, Russell. It also comes with a driver disc if you've got Windows or maybe there's Mac on there, I'm not too sure, but you know, there's a drivers, a little manual and a, a palm rest. You go that way around at the bottom of the keyboard. So let's get the keyboard and the cabling all up and running. So I will get the box out of the way. Right, with that out of the way, we need to plug this in. So we need this end and making sure it's the right way around I'll plug in to the back of the Spectrum next, making sure we don't bend any pins or anything like that because that's the last thing we need right now. Let's put this the right way around so we can see the LED and let's turn it on. So we have some nice power, everything seems to be working. So. What we need to do is sync things up, so we'll press the button on there so it starts flashing away. I know I've got a silly long screwdriver here, but it's just at hand. Press the button on the bottom of there so that it goes. There is a switch inside and the same with the keyboard that allows you to do channels one and two, so that's up to you to decide what you want to do. And then on the keyboard, I'm going to press the syncing button there as well. And then let's see if everything's worked properly. So we'll go across to the Spectrum next. Press the down button. Up buttons. Yay, that works. So we press enter. And then we go down to tools. And then we go into kempston.snx. This is a Kempston port uh, tester and everything like that, but it also works with the mouse. So fingers crossed this works. Yay, the mouse works. Uh, so it says left button for red. Okay, so that bar on the left hand side has changed to red. Middle button green, right button blue, scrolly wheel. Yay, it moves around. And the mouse moves around. So that's worked perfectly, just the way that I wanted to do. I hope this has been of some interest and gives you some ideas for yourself on how to get going if you want an external keyboard or mouse for whatever reason. Having a mouse can come in handy though because there is uh, some games that uh, use that and of course there's the art packages 
and then I'm sure there's going to be more wonderful things that will use the mouse on the Spectrum Next itself. So, as always, happy gaming!